let's get into cash for a second. I absolutely love looking at the cash aspect of my company. It's data that does not lie. It's either there or it's not. It's black and white. It's binary. It, 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 it's, it's awesome. Um, it, you can, I don't care about sales that are coming in in 30 days. Payroll is tomorrow. Do I have enough money in the bank or am I going to have to borrow to make payroll? I want to know that and I want to know, and is that getting better or worse or staying the same? There's a guy named Alan Miltz that taught me the importance of this. It's called Growing Broke, but um, let's say you got your widget. Okay, whatever the widget is, it doesn't matter if it's software as a service, you have labor, and if it's actually a widget, you have raw materials, but whatever. Let, just for the sake of 50% um, is raw. So raw materials, are, if you sell the widget for a dollar, 50 cents of that went into the underlying cost of goods sold, labor, cogs as they call it. The stuff that every single widget, no matter what, you have those expenses, right? And again, I'm just gonna use round numbers because I don't have Excel in front of me and I can't do math. Um, so 20, let's say uh, another 25% is your uh, overheads, right? Maybe your time, uh, your pay, your building, your power, whatever, there is stuff that, it doesn't matter about widget sales, you got that bill that's gonna come in all the time. And so that, let, just for 25% uh, profit. So woohoo, I'm making profit, yay, I'm 25% profitable, you can tell all your friends and they'll think you're brilliant, right? Comes down to cash, um, and as my buddy Alan Milt says, um, revenue is vanity, Profit is sanity, but cash is king. Cash flow is king. And here's the example, you were talking about net 30. What do you think happens if this business has to produce the widget, put it on the shelf in inventory, and wait for people to buy it? Even though you're 25% profitable, let's say somebody comes, I want 1,000 orders of that widget. And I'm like, crap, I gotta produce this widget now. So they're gonna borrow or have cash to fund this 50% raw materials with hopes at some point down the road getting that 25% profit. So you're borrowing 50% from the bank to make 25% profit. That's not scalable. You're growing broke. Every time you make a sale, you're running out of cash or increasing your debt. So in the best case scenario, you tell me you want a widget, you go ahead and pay me either half or full and I'll go produce the widget using your money to go buy the raw materials and pay the staff and blah, blah, blah. And uh, basically, I've already got my profit, right? Easily scalable. You can blow that up all day long. You mean I'm taking the money first and producing the widget second? That's awesome. It's another reason why contractors usually say I need 50% up front, because they can't scale, they can't do anything. They gotta go buy wood before they come build the deck on your house, and then they eventually take the other half. But they wanna get this raw material because it's not scalable. It's another reason why it's so important, and I, we did this on Facebook when, um, I, I, somebody said, what's the one thing you want to know about your company? And I said, how much, I think I said something like, how much uh, cogs do I need for every next sale, every dollar I bring in? I want to know this ratio. And he was like, tell me more. <laughs> it was weird, everybody else is coming up with weird stuff, and of course I'm a little weird, so came up with this. Um, I'm kind of lucky that Medicaid pays me in about two weeks after doing sales and payroll runs around about two weeks after doing sales. So although it's not, I can't blow it up scale, um, cause you know, I, I get a new case, guy comes in, I gotta hire five staff, train five staff, there's $3,000 of cost that go into the training of staff, eventually Medicaid's gonna pay me. If that person came in and then left after a month, I am just dead. And it's like, I've hired all these people, now they're extra, and I, I, want, I refuse to do any layoffs. So I'm stuck with them. <laughs> I gotta figure out a place to work them. Um, it's really, really important that you guys understand this and measure it so that your company's scalable. Now the other thing you can do, and, and again, I'm kind of stealing all Alan Miltz's content, but can you renegotiate terms with your vendor to pay you either half now or pay you a little earlier? or can you negotiate with the people you owe money to, can I pay you a little later? And that can reverse this trend and allow you to scale. But the worst case scenario is you're funding this and then 30 days later you get the dollar, you, the, the, all of a sudden the debt eats up your profit.